mirror, mirror on the wall, who's causing the most chaos of them all? Let's try that again. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's causing the most chaos of them all? God day, gods and goddesses. I am elegant soul with the consecrated nature, baby. And if you remember that fable, if you remember that fairy tale, what was the gist of it? What was the whole point of it all? The witch in the mirror was the problem. The witch in the mirror was causing the problem. But what was the witch in the mirror doing? Seeing everybody else as the problem. That's the first thing we got to do. We got to check ourselves in the mirror. We got to see what's really going on. What is attacking your God-given purpose for love, joy, peace, and joy in life? I hope this message is finding you all well today. I hope that everything is good with you. I hope that you are safe and that you are spiritually um, ascending prosperity, prosperity, building your spiritual prosperity. And what we're going to talk about today is chaos who's causing the drama in the chaos chaos means a gaping void it means empty confused formless it means the elementary state of the universe the elementary state of the universe orderless confusion disorder wide open emptiness chaos creates and allows spiritual attacks how does that look in your life and your finances believing that a person will make you happy chaos believing a job or a career is supposed to make you happy chaos believing more money will make you happy once we identify the spiritual chaoses in our lives, such as mental, having no peace, no solitude, relationships, they're drama laden. It's drama choices, drama responses, drama consequences. Uh, spiritually, you're not rooted in self-preservation and you're not focused on things that are for your greater good. Chaos will actually have you give up on things that you need for your well-being that's a red flag any area of your life where you are giving up on things that are for your best interest is chaos and that's a red flag how can we heal from or remove chaos from our lives take inventory look and see what you need to change up change up what flows in and out of your spiritual gateways what's coming out your mouth was that pleasing was it kind was it spiritual was it i'm not going to use the word nice because that's a whole nother sermon um not that it was nice was it appropriate was it gentle was it love in what you just said um what you're listening to what you're looking at is it love and the things that you're seeing? Is it love and the things that you're hearing? If not, what do you need to flip up with that? Check your net worth. Check your whole self. Check your net worth and see what you really are about, what your values are. Um, and check your passive income blockages. I did a video on passive income last week, I think it was. You can go back and check that and get more clarity on that. Identify chaotic aspects of your mind, habits, lifestyles, and spending habits. Go back and look, check your, um, your monthly budget. Go and review your annual budget that you just started, you know, a month ago. Or maybe you started last fiscal. Maybe you're, you're on a fiscal calendar either in July or uh, October or you do it in January. Go back and see if you're on point. That's the ways that you can identify areas that you can fast spiritually let's check the energy on this so we're going to start with the goddess card and check the energy can you tell us about chaos and identify 
spiritual drama that we need to deal with for ourselves. Oh, seasons. Nana Boluku. Nana Boluku. You see Nana Boluku? It looks like she has a scrying glass in her hand and cowrie shells over her head. I just love this deck. It's so beautiful. I have to look into who this artist is. Okay, Nana Boluku. She is Benin, a goddess from Benin, which is West Africa, which is where my roots are traced to, specifically Benin in uh, the Congo. And she represents the threshold guardians and the element of air. Keep getting that air, that Gemini, Libra energy. Nana Boluku is the most high supreme being, primordial mother, grandmother of all Orishas, and the homies, wives, woman, herbalist, and healer. You have entered a new cycle that is very old. Allow yourself to become present. Trust in divine timing. Don't be in such a hurry. There are no shortcuts here. Are you ready for a new beginning? Are you in or entering a season that will force you to evolve? This is a time for major transition. You are not stuck. You are holding on to patterns. Change can be very terrifying. Allow yourself to be mentored. When you choose a new path, you are ripe for self-sabotage. A commitment test from the universe may pop up to delay this new pathway. Stay the course. Your time is now. The declaration for this goddess is I am limitless. So what we just was saying. There's no shortcuts. Are you ready for a new beginning? You're in a new season that will force you to evolve. I'm going to talk about not being stuck. Not holding on to old patterns. Thing. All right, what do we need to do on this journey? What do we need to do on this journey? What do we need to do on this journey? I am a galactic star seed blooming. Y'all see me shuffling these decks. I tell y'all, I tell y'all, it's just, these are the messages. This is what I need to be sharing with you all. This is what we all need to know. I am galactic star seed blooming. The veil has been lifted to allow you to re-remember your galactic mission here. I am galactic star seed blooming. Our lives are born in the seeds we've planted. I am galactic star seed blooming. Seeds are designed to be abundant and adaptive. I am galactic star seed blooming. The right seeds always bloom when we provide the nourishment, sunlight, and water. I am galactic star seed blooming. What seeds have I planted that are ready to bloom? Checkbox, allow yourself three nourishing actions today to allow your star seed to bloom. Should these be added to your schedule to do more regularly? I don't even have to repeat nothing. You can rewind the tape. It all, all lines up. Okay. 
And this is for a money message. Oh, Money Monday. Financial plan. A financial plan is a highly personalized document outlining your current finances, long-term financial goals, and the strategies to achieve them. Often it covers retirement, debt repayment, tax strategies, long-term investments, and plans for emergencies. Ongoing process building a financial plan can be done independently or with a financial advisor. So to reiterate where I was before we started with the messages, how it all ties together. Take inventory, change up what flows in and out of your spiritual gateways. This is your season. Check your net worth and uh, passive income and blockages. I am a galactic star seed blooming. Identify chaotic, chaotic aspects of your mind, habits, lifestyle, and spending habits, and financial plan. Review your monthly or annual budget to see if you're on point. Spiritual fast for financial and spiritual growth through fasting. You can do this a few minutes at a time each day. Don't buy that food. Cook your home. Don't repeat what you just heard. Shut it down right there. Somebody comes to you with something that's drama. Don't repeat it. Tell them you don't want to hear it. It's none of my business. I'm minding my own business. Um, work your way up from minutes to hours per day of just doing those ha habit changes, those gateway changes. Um, journal your progress or use a calendar in your phone. That's something that I've done a lot in the past. I just put it in my calendar for the day, the next day to remind myself or send myself a message. And um, pat yourself on the back. Celebrate yourself for every time you make a conscious decision to do something for your best interest that gets you away from drama or blocking your passive income opportunities. Celebrate yourself. Celebrate your growth and your change. I made it through lunch and didn't spend money. I actually packed my lunch this morning and I'm, you know, heating it up. I'm doing good. I'm, I'm making a choice because I'm going to use this later for something else. And um, let's connect. Drop me a, a note and let me know how it goes. I really hope that this is helping somebody. And the whole goal for me to be out here is to help somebody. Um, so drop me a note. Let's keep in touch. And I am going to be bringing some interviews to you soon um, with some of my friends that work in, uh, friends in um, professional contacts that work in finance. Um, we're scheduling that and getting that together. So I hope that really helps you guys. Again, I'm here to help and to share what I've learned on the way. As always, you can find down below um, tips and websites that you can go to. I start my day every day listening to somebody that knows something about marxism and communism and history and finance and the market not even gonna start that conversation it's monday and monday 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 mondays can be something sometime because there's so much happening in the world but i don't let that bother me because i always keep a song in my heart and the song i've been humming lately is stevie wonder don't you worry about a thing don't you worry about a thing, baby. Don't worry about it. Stay on your stuff. Handle your business. And as always, I love you and I'll see you next time.